We need more free and critical thinkers on this planet for the challenges that we're facing. All right, listen up. You do not need a guru to find purpose and meaning in your life. You don't need somebody else to follow, to show you the way, to tell you everything you need to know about who you are and why you're here. The reason I'm sharing this message today is because I remember back when I was in my early 20s, I was looking for that one or two people who I could follow, who I could replicate and model my life after, because I didn't know where else to go. I didn't know what it looked like to be a man in this world. I didn't know what it looked like to have purpose, direction, or guidance, or I, I had no clue. But what I was missing the most all that time was that that GPS, that information, that internal guidance system was right here. It was right here inside of my body the whole time. And I was ignoring it because I put so much value in the beliefs and insights of other people. We grow up this way. We're conditioned to follow the reign and rule of our parents, of our teachers, of our guardians, mentors, coaches, etc. We're brought up in a society that has educators and students but that is always presented as a one directional relationship. And it conditions us to believe that there's somebody out there who is able to tell me what I need to do next. Any of us who grew up in grade school, if you went to kindergarten through high school, at, at any level, there was a model of someone has the answers and I need to go find them for the answers. They've got the way, I need to find out what that way is and replicate it and do it and execute that. And right now we live in a world where there's so many people who are showing up in the space saying, this is what you need to do to get this or five ways to become incredibly wealthy or the way to spiritual fulfillment. And I, I get it. It's, it's easy for us to latch on to these messages from people. It's easy to attach ourselves to the promise of what someone's saying. And some people are really clear that this is just my opinion. This is just the way that I see it. But you have to be protective of yourself. It's really important to check in with yourself and, and, and realize when you're giving all of your truth, all of your authority over to somebody else to tell you what's true in your life. Break down that word authority. Author. Authorship. Having the right to write the story. When we give authority or power away to somebody, we're giving them the right to tell us the way things are. It's like we're giving them the pen to script our reality. And there's a lot of people out there who recognize that, that that is powerful. There's a way to influence people by asking for authority and having com whole communities and populations of people give that power over. I mean, just look at social media these days. Anybody who's got millions or hundreds of thousands of followers has tremendous influence and impact on the people who tune in. And believe me, I understand the irony. I don't count myself out of that. I'm saying this message right now because I know some of you guys are out there listening to this podcast. I want to make sure that you're not just subscribing to what I say because you think that I'm a nice guy or because you think that I've got some wisdom here. The only way I've got to be where I am now is because I learned to tune in to that internal guidance system. Sometimes I think of it as a filter. I think of it as a filter that is surgically installed right over my ears and, and over my eyeballs so that anything that comes into my eyes, my ears, any, any other part of my body where I receive information, my first question is, is this useful to me? Do I believe in what I'm hearing? And that's the first step because 99.9% .9 of what's out there in the world is all subjective opinion. I don't care how compelling or enrolling somebody is in their message, but 99.9% .9 of it is, is just opinion. But it's being transmitted as fact. It's being transmitted as compelling, universal, unquestionable truth. And that's really dangerous. So that first filter of, do I believe this? Is this something that I genuinely resonate with? Does it make sense to me? Does it feel good in my body when I receive that message? Do I believe what Jetty's saying right now? That, yeah, there's parts of my life where I give away authority to other people. If that feels good, then let it in. If that resonates and rings true somewhere on some level of your body, let it in. But if it's not a full yes, then either kick it out and reject it, let it go, or ask more questions. Well, why is that not a full yes? Maybe it's the way that it was expressed. Maybe it was the words that that individual used. 
But whatever it is, it's important not to just latch on to something because you like how the person looks or you agree with some of what they say. This is how we become robots in society and why we're so divided into one or two political parties. Why so many of us will just cluster on to what the masses are saying because it's what is the popular thing to do. I mean, this goes all the way back to school when you didn't want to be the odd person out. So you went along with what everybody else was doing. I got myself into a lot of trouble doing that as a kid. I hurt a lot of people's feelings by just latching on to what the group was saying, even though it didn't feel right in my body. So it's important that we develop this filter for ourselves, that we get down to that baseline layer of, do I actually believe in this thing? Does it feel right in my body? And if it does, then I can take it in and I can absorb it. There's still room to learn from all kinds of people, from all walks of life. All I'm asking is that you don't make any one of these people become the standard hallmark of truth for you. Because in doing that, even if it's a open-hearted, purpose-driven, well-intentioned individual, you're giving your own power away to that person. And not only that, you're giving the responsibility of your life and your destiny over to that other person or that message. This journey, this life, this walk is yours. You have all the wisdom and knowledge you need inside of you and the ability to process new information inside of you as well. And that's your responsibility. That's your right as a human on this planet to decide what is and what is not true for you. So in this conversation of truth, in a world where there's so many messages that are coming in, all I'm asking is that you don't make any one person or two people or three people your standard for truth that you always give yourself permission to filter that truth and decide what part actually fits for you. We need more free and critical thinkers on this planet for the challenges that we're facing as a global community, as a planet. So don't become another sheep. Don't just go along with the flock because that's where the current of society is going. Ask questions, be insightful, be reflective. And if you really resonate and vibrate with somebody and, and believe in what they have to say, then go for it. <laughs> if, if you're here listening to what I'm saying and this resonates with you, then take it in, but make it yours. Don't make it mine. Don't just walk around in the world repeating the things that other people said. Make it yours. Take it in. Let it become your wisdom. And then share that back out into the community so we can keep this cycle of wisdom and information going. Encourage people to think freely. Encourage people to be curious and also be willing to be challenged in your own truth because that's the only way that we can learn and grow. All right, if this message is landing for you, if it's hitting you like mm, right in the heart, then make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and go check out risingman.org so you can find new ways to become a bigger part of this community. Challenge yourself to be the man you always knew you could be and connect with men from all over the world. Until next week, peace out.